half past eight on Saturday morning. And uh, it's a crazy bright with partial cloud cover. A little bit of a cool wind. It's about 5.8 degrees this morning. Breezy here. The patches of blue sky in the mix with cloud. All these lights are still working well. Survived the winter so far, which is good. You can see the buds on this lilac tree coming quite nicely now. And uh, there's one or two daffodils here that I had planted where the, the bull were very strongly coming through, like that one there. You see little ones, but they're very strong shooting up there. These are doing okay. Probably need to put them in there. I think, I think they're flowering well and they're doing okay. They're just, um, I think it's just the pots they're in or the location they are don't make them stand out very effectively. So I might, you know, maybe I'll see how it goes. Could really probably transplant them into the soil here. Then against the black background, they might look. Uh, stronger because they are very colourful and the flower all went there and I just got them all free from the Pudsey Park and we'll throw them all out and these were just a few like a bag full that I brought from Pudsey from the moved house yeah. so in the post post yesterday uh, came the six of the paperback versions. So I had separately, a couple of days earlier, got the hardbacks. Now the paperbacks have arrived. So I get these free copies sent to us for being, you know, the author. Um, It's good that it's on a uh, nice shiny paper. It's uh, which is a lot better than the first edition. So, um, yeah, the first editions are here. Look, these are the first edition ones. And um, but it, this is on sort of the paper that is like a cheap paper that absorbs the ink. And we, I was only allowed to have like maybe six or seven diagrams in it. Because they're just meant to be like a basic thing, just text on that. So you could just do these very simple, uh, you know, little diagrams like that. You couldn't do any colour photographs or anything like that, you know. So you can compare them. So that's, you know, how it was. And then Justina colourised them for us on the computer. So that's like that one, same map in colour. Um, because, I, you know, some, some I did leave in black and white, but... I tried to just colourise a few and add photographs in which you know brings it more to life and things, more diagrams and photographs, you know. So that's a a barrier set of barrier islands in North Carolina, these like a strip of all the barrier islands. Of course that protects the rest of the coastline, but it's, it's interesting to us land form. Well, you know, it brings it to life when you've got to photographs, explain things better, show things better, what you're talking about. Um, so I still have to scatter them around quite, quite uh, lightly, but yeah. So that's um, the, the, the Colorado River. Uh, it's so much water that's taken from it. It's a big river. It um, doesn't make it to the sea anymore, it's dry in the river mouth. No water leaves the river. So much taken out and dams and all that.
Anyway, there we go. And uh, on um, last weekend, there was a bit, a bit of an offer on eBay. Uh, you know, reduced um, fees and things. So I, I uh, put a few maps on. More maps got millions of them. And um, just by chance, the one I happened to, oh, I did six, I think. What one of them happened to be uh, the village of Hooby, which is where we looked at two houses when we were um, when we were looking to move house. We viewed two houses here. What one was I think one of these on this street. Uh, and then the other, I'm not quite sure if it was, was it? I think it might have been in the new street when we ran up there or something. I, think, I can't remember. But because um, this map's 1991, so I don't know. Uh, and then uh, on Armscliff Crag, where we were, with rock climb, roll the rock climbers were, and that's there. So you can see that's the hill. So it's, it's very steeply goes up like that on the crag. So that's where that is and you've got the railway line does run through and there is a station there's a station uh, here as well uh, but they call it Wheaton station even though Wheaton is actually down here it's also a bit odd isn't it um but yeah so that one and then another one i did just by chance was uh Catrick garrison which is quite interesting so I listed this, but uh, so this is 1976, and uh, it just shows all the, the layout of all of the, the garrison, military hospital, school, um, all the sort of different, you know, ordnance house and all that, all the different the layout of the whole the garrison. It's quite a big area. You know, you look at all the blocks and everything like that, the barracks. That's what that was there. Uh, so that was quite interesting. You got the firing range, you know, and things like that. And then the other one, uh, which was interesting as well, of just this, just in, in this six alone that I did, was Middleham. So that's where we were. We did a video. We went for a drive and ended up in Middleham, which is where the there's a big it's horse riding country where all the horse trainers are based. Uh, on these moors and things here, they run, run the horses across here. And it's uh, got a very, very ancient history. It had the castle, Middleham Castle. Do you remember the video I took there? Um, so that was there. So um, it's got the River Ewer running through the Middleham there. Uh, so we'll just, um, yeah, 